So this is where my journey starts today. I'm just outside of Burton on Trent. Um, my solo journey and my extremely long ride. Um, let's see whether the the Yamaha XMAX 300 can go on a tour, a weekend tour. A bit like the rest day rider. Sappy Sprocket, Mato Fields, ah, to name a few. They're definitely braver than I am. Uh, this is the first time I've attempted anything quite this long. We're looking at about 200, yep, 200 miles today on a 300cc scooter. Is that even possible in the UK? Well, we're going to find out shortly. Not going to go my usual routes. I've got handlebar muffs up which are a little smaller than I'd like but that makes them compact um, don't interfere with the steering but you know, I have a planned first stop in about an hour uh, just using Google Maps Google, I know you're not going to be listening to this but can we have more than 9 points of uh, interest on a route? Nine points of interest in the USA might be great, but actually nine points of interest in the UK isn't enough. I have no external storage on this motorcycle. Scooter, maxi scooter, whatever you want to call it, because I know some people are going to say it's definitely not a motorcycle. However, it is a cycle because it's got two wheels and it has a motor. So it makes it a motorcycle in my box. Right, as I know where I am, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'll catch you in a bit. Uh, as I don't know where I am, I thought I'd put the camera on and that's a cracking view if you could see it. And some lanes I've never been down. Well, it's always possible when you put in a different route and go to villages you don't normally go to that you'll find something amazing. Well, that's a pretty stunning view. I mean, I've only done about 10 miles out of where I live. say is it looks epic it's it's a nice day today and if you've heard my sat nav turn left let's turn left that's better it's loud so you are going to hear on the recording my directions while I'm recording I guess as it plays into my head not into my ears, but it's quite loud. I could play music as well, but the device I'm using is pretty slow. I can't complain. I don't need to be driving through the leaves. It is autumn, technically. No getting your knee down on the scooter, let's just avoid the leaves where I can. I'll swing it back out. The good thing about having a sat nav is you can see in advance where the uh, really sharp turns are going to come up. But if you're just enjoying the view and Just 
mosey on, on along. Sometimes getting out and about and just go explore. Put a village in that you've never been to. Find a nice windy route. See where you end up. What else could I say? I mean, uh, the back of beyond at the moment. I actually would say if you asked me to take the sat nav off and get home without following the route behind me, I would have to follow some sites. But I wouldn't know exactly where I was going. Staffordshire back into Derbyshire. That's a short throw on those uh, traffic lights. And we're into the Derbyshire Dales apparently. I do hope that turned on, that was an amazing view. I could do this road more often. I imagine one, one time it would have been 60 mile an hour down here. And national speed limit. Well, it looks like it's bleeped to turn off, which... Uh, maybe I've just missed the shed load of uh, video in that I wanted. Uh, oh, that sucks. I hope not. I have, I have, I'll just have to come back and do that bit another time. Uh, there's definitely some sort of roadworks up here. Turn left, I want to go a different route. And that's fine. I don't know where I'm going. I'm 
way. There are actually signs for the illuminations, so they must be on. I must come up and have a ride through for that. The three wheeler version of this. Ryber Castle up there, if you can see it. I wonder whether one day somebody will actually do something with that and put it right. I wouldn't fancy trying to drive or ride up that hill. So I start nabs telling me I'm going the wrong way. I'll have a faff with that when I stop. Just a beautiful road this. It's not the safest road. It's well, those are ridden with care. You can just get yourself silly coming to it above above 30 miles an hour. The bumps are enough to unsettle most suspensions. Cars, motorcycles.
I could obviously have come on more directly and made some time up. I'm hoping I've got some really nice footage. Hill starts. CMC motorcycles, which is where I was going to stop, but as I'm running a little behind, I'm going to press on, try and make some time up. Cost of coffee, it gets bigger this place every day. There's a McDonald's there, I didn't know that was there. Generous George, whatever Generous George is. What a view you'd have living up here! Uh, looking at that every day. something nice about riding roads that you've never ridden before. I mean, yeah, I've got a long way to go today. I went to go on a, on a little bike. Clearly cannot get the seat past this horse, so I'm glad she's picked up the speed a little. around the corners. Doubly red phone box. One of those lovely, lovely roads.
Oh, we made the Peak District. Look at that. Closed. It's closed. I've got problems. It's telling me it's closed. Oh, let's go see. I guess. So I've noticed that the sat-nav does not update uh, unlike a normal car sat-nav when you change direction. This sat-nav doesn't have any Wi-Fi connection at all. So am I going to get lost? Am I going to be able to get a signal from my mobile phone up here? Is this the end of my ride? Can I find a new route to take? Find out next time, as I'm gonna to have to stand here and figure out where I'm going next and how I'm gonna to get to where I'm supposed to be going. Prodding at the sat nav and the phone screen really isn't doing anything through the case. It does work, just this device seems to be extremely slow. Although I've done everything I can and every setting I can to make it go a bit faster so this is going to be a bit of a faff if you've enjoyed this subscribe and join me for the next time thank you